Hello, I'm Jim, this is On The Left Side, and welcome to Russia! Oh, for fuck's sake! They say that football is often a reflection of politics, which would probably go some way to explaining why the Russian World Cup is already completely fucking bonkers. And that was even before the first ball was kicked in the opening game of Russia versus Saudi Arabia, or the human rights abuses derby, as I like to call it. The chaos and confusion first started with the news of a directive to linesmen during the 2018 World Cup that they shouldn't flag for any fractional offside decisions, which increases the chances of the Russian championships becoming an absolute goal fest. I can't help thinking that there are two things that could have gone on here, and both of those things lean to Vladimir Putin standing in the corner of a FIFA meeting, holding a pillowcase full of doorknobs and eyeing Gianni Infantino threateningly. Either it was one of Putin's suggestions in his desire to make this World Cup the greatest World Cup ever, along with his other suggestion that anyone with the surname ending in V, they get double goals. The other option is that Putin has put a couple of rubles on there being over 100 goals in this tournament in a bid to win back some of the country's half a billion pound overspend on the tournament so far. Half a billion quid. But we've all had that, haven't we? You hire a builder, you get a quote from a builder, they finish the job and they add on a few extras here and there and suddenly you've spent half the GDP of Belgium. The dictum certainly didn't impress football pundit and misogynist Richard Keyes, who tweeted, This is complete madness. It will result in the assistants abdicating responsibility. And why on earth are VAR officials going to work dressed as refs? It's going to be chaos. The second part of that tweet concerns the news that video referees for the World Cup won't be in the ground itself. Instead, they will be in the Russian FA headquarters. They will, however, be dressed in exactly the same kit as worn by match day referees. Essentially, they're going to be that lad who turns up to the works five-a-side game every week in a full city kit. Yep, they will be full kit whistlers. Has John Terry been put in charge of VAR kits this season or something? FIFA's refereeing chief has suggested that the move is to help referees remember that they're referees. Look, if the refs are having problems remembering that they're refs, then maybe the refs aren't the best refs for the job. There's quite a lot of other stuff to remember as well, like, you know, rules. Still, at least they're going to look smart, eh? The most farcical thing, however, has nothing to do with FIFA or the host nation. I know, it's all about one of the tournament favourites. Spain are currently behaving with all the stability of a Brexit cabinet meeting after sacking their head coach just a day before the tournament began. He revealed he's going to be leaving Spain to take the big job at Real Madrid after the World Cup, and Spain sent him on his way. This is the football equivalent of being dumped by your girlfriend just after you've told them that you're dumping them. Anyway, Spain have moved fast and appointed a new coach, which for me doesn't look like the right move. If you want a manager who's done it at the top level, a manager who's tactically at the top of his game, a manager who is the master of communication in the Spanish language, then there is only, for me, one place to turn. I know about the B team. I know some of the players. They have been training with me. Uh, uh, dodge stress quattro uh, times that's it for today's show i'll be back soon with another one of these world cup nuggets make sure you have subscribed so you get the next one as soon as it's ready just hit the button however you are listening and i will see you soon goodbye comrade <laughs>